from Fantasy Flight guys for their Dust series. These are Blitzkrieg Axis Gorillas. They are genetically enhanced, made smarter probably rather than stronger, gorillas that fight on the side of the Axis. They're basically even Ger evil German gorillas. These guys are pure combat. They are for dust warfare, dust tactics. Oh, and uh, you get your little card here, just as your dust tactics card. You don't really need that, play dust warfare. You get three gorillas in the box. These gorillas cost 24 points and they're a level three soldier. So they're up there with the better soldiers. They'll not just be so easy killed. Each one of them comes with its own individual little baggie. And we just get them all out here. Each guy, if I just set them, each guy has a different pose as he is running across the board to get to fight the allies. They, they have some special rules that uh, makes them go faster, which is good because they don't have any shooting whatsoever. The gorillas are reasonably good in combat, but their main advantage, guys, I see in them is they move well. They can take out some of the big vehicles too, some of the big walkers with the right attacks. But you have to pick your fight with these. You cannot go, I'll send, I'll just show you the next gorilla. I'll send my gorilla out directly across no man's land. He's not King Kong. He won't suck up tons of bullets and it all bounce off him. Uh, the actual gorillas themselves, guys, they're cool little models. This guy stands right on the edge of his base and you have no issues with him falling over or anything like that there. It has these special panzer wrist hammer thing jobbies. I can't remember the exact name of them, but they're like anti-tank boxing gloves that you can smack tanks with. They will do vehicles and they will do combat against infantry, but you have to be careful who you fight because they, they aren't the ultimate power machine for running across the board. Now, if you've got guys in huge big armor standing, looking at them and shooting at them as they come across, they can't take it that way. So you have to use their additional movement to get them into a good position to fight. They're not dogs. You can't just send them out, go dog, fetch, die. Ah, well, it was only a dog. We have another letter of 15 come along next week. They're a gorilla. They do a certain job for you. I like the look of them, guys. Tactically have to be used well. So it's up to you guys. How do you use, use them? Would you, like Warren, want a full army of gorillas? Could it work? Would there be a little Dan Fosse wandering them around? I don't know. Stick in some comments and I'll get a look and see what's up next, guys.